Yo, what is going on guys? Max here. Hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day so far and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is going to be part 4 of my Fallout series. In the last episode, if you guys missed it or we're just going to recap real quick, uh, we actually just joined the Brotherhood of Steel. We went down in this big uh, bunker base thing and we got a, a transmitter that we're going to use back at the place because he's got injured men and basically he's going to call his superiors to come help him out and pick them up and stuff. But we're going to meet him back at the police station. Uh, he'll probably give us other Brotherhood of Steel quests, but we're not going to do those for now. We're just going to uh, continue on to Diamond City. And he actually gave us one of his old weapons, which is cool. Uh, we're going to put that on right now. Weapons. Where is it? A uh, laser rifle. It's a modified laser rifle, though. Righteous Authority. See, it's a unique laser rifle, which is awesome. It's not your just average laser rifle. And so now we've got a laser rifle, which is one of my favorite weapons in the Fallout series. So I'm really glad we got that. But uh, we're going to meet him back at the police station now. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Where's Roscoe? Roscoe? Roscoe! Oh, what are you doing? He's still sitting here? We already looked in that, buddy. All right, come on, Roscoe. All right, so here's the police station. This is where we originally are, and we came all the way over to here, cleared. Um, but now we're gonna head over to Diamond City, which is, looks like it's still a fucking ways away, Jesus. Okay, so this is the same place. It looked fucking, why did it look so, like, polluted and shit? It looked like we were in a completely different area, but this is the, this is where we first came in last episode. Um, but now we're gonna go to Diamond City. I don't know, we could go back to the police station, but I feel like he's just going to give us another quest. He already gave us a reward for that quest, so I don't think there's any point in going back there right now. We will eventually, just not right now, because I want to get to it with the main story. Alright, so that is Diamond City. I'm actually kind of curious if we can breathe underwater in this suit, so I'm going to try that real quick. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. I'll save right here just in case it does. Okay. Hopefully, we don't drown. <laughs> Drinking water restores health. Drinking unpurified water causes radiation damage. I know that. Can we really walk underwater? That's pretty cool. I mean, we're getting a lot of radiation while we're under here, but that's okay. I got rat away, I think. Alright. Rat away. Okay, there we go. Where's Roscoe? Roscoe! Oh, there he is. Okay. Got some bullets being fired over here. Let's investigate. Oh, damn. What the hell? Miss Rosa? Oh, this might have been a bad idea. I like how they don't fucking fight Roscoe when he's hurt. Because that would be really annoying if they just kept killing him. Because they did that in Fallout 3. Roscoe would just rush in a fight and fucking get killed. Ah, oh, shit, dude. They're hurting my... Oh, they actually have names? That's pretty cool. The ghouls aren't just ghouls. They actually have names. That's actually really cool. I like that. Because they used to be people, obviously, and then they were turned into these by radiation. But they actually have names. They didn't. That's actually really cool. I like that. Roscoe, are you still hurt? No, I think he's fine. Um, should we investigate this place a little bit? Maybe? A little teddy bear. Here, Roscoe. Here. Roscoe. They have super mutants? Oh shit. Is that a mini nuke? What the fuck? He has a He was just carrying around a mini nuke like a fucking football. Oh, Roscoe, here you go. Why would Was he gonna suicide bomb me? Whoa. Oh that's gonna blow up. Roscoe! Roscoe? What the fuck? 
We have fucking Crypto the Super Dog over here. Jesus Christ. I thought he died there for a second. Why was it like, I'm still like, was he, I think he was going to suicide bomb me. I don't know. We are getting way too, we're venturing away from Diamond City and I just want to get to Diamond City already. We've lost fucking three pieces of armor now. Look, there are both our legs and our right arm. We need to get to the city and repair this shit. Yeah, we'll come back and investigate shit later. I just want to get the story done already. Apparently the story is really interesting too, which is nice. At least people have told me, like, the story is really good. I'm loving this game so far. Hope you guys know that. GNN? Why not GNR? I want Galaxy News Radio. Alright, we're almost at 50% with our fusion core. We gotta find another core quick. Looks like we got some kind of firefight going on. Are these the good guys? Which side is the good guys? What is this? Nope, that is a super mute. <laughs> I like how you can rapidly fire that shit, because in Fallout 3 you could not do that. They look like fucking orcs. They don't even look like super mutants anymore. It honestly looks like an orc. Bayoneted heavy pipe sniper rifle? Take that. Alright. And I learned you don't take falling damage in the power armor as well. Who is that? Diamond City Security, okay. Is this? Okay, this is towards Diamond City. Awesome. It's a weird looking turret. Um... Oh, one of these things. Uh, don't, don't listen to the radio. Fucking, I'm gonna get a copyright fucking strike again. That's, I think that's so stupid. If it's in-game music, you should not get a copyright strike for it. But, whatever. Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. I'm not afraid of anything, buddy. I mean, death claws, but that's fucking everyone's. Standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Piper. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <laughs> You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. She's got really pretty eyes. Damn it, Danny. Open up! Why is she looking at me like that? <laughs> you. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah, I want in. That's. I'm trying to figure out where my son is, right? I just got here, but yeah. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, alright. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. No, I don't want to be labeled as a liar. <laughs> I, my power armor looks so stupid without the armor on it. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. If you guys don't know, Diamond City is actually the uh, the Boston uh, baseball stadium. That's what this whole place is, and they built the stadium like out on the field and everything. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. Now you, you better sh watch your mouth. Rabble rousing slander. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. It's not my business. <laughs> this really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. <laughs> Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... Everyone loses their mind! <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Yeah, my 
son. Trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing. Oh God. Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's I shouldn't have said that, Jesus. Help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken. No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. She better not like write that in the fucking. All right, let's try this speech check. Come on, don't fail it. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry, I don't <laughs> have time for any more questions. What an I'm asshole. A busy man. No, Enjoy I'm a busy your man. stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Mm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Mm-hmm. Porn star enters Diamond City. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, it was a joke. Come on, Roscoe. Okay. Um, but I guess we're going in. Oh my God, her ass. What? What? Houdini? Oh, the oh, it's music goes into Diamond City. Diamond City, boys. The largest settlement in the game. It really does remind me a lot of, uh, what's it called? What's that? God, why can I not remember it? The one with the nuke in it in Fallout 3. I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't remember the fucking name of that town. Just so I don't waste, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off just so I, I don't think anyone's gonna steal that shit. Oh, am I, I'm overcumbered. No way. What? The fuck? Hey, kiddo. How the paper sale? Ah, come on. All right, we gotta get back in. I wanna see what they're saying. That's her little sister, I guess. Now, her little sister is just a little girl, and you said that she's on notice. Why? Is something wrong? What? Hey, what's up? Hi there. Free paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least be warned. The institute? You ain't heard of the institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's, it's all on the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. Fuck you. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. I don't think it, no I think it was Raiders. No one get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. 
Alrighty. She is kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, but now we're gonna get out of this and we are going to sell some items so we're not overcumbered. Alright, we're gonna sell some shit. My weapons. Some crap we don't need. So we have our Vault 111 jumpsuit, right? Alright, we're gonna put on all the leather shit. Look at that. Look at like a badass now. We're, I wanna put on that Russian hat. Where's that at? Yes. Yes! <laughs> I am Soviet Russian. Yes, it's a real vault suit. Customized it myself. <laughs> Alrighty, but we just repaired all of the uh, stuff on the power armor, and now we are going to go see uh, the detective, I guess, to find out where my son went. Jewel of the Commonwealth. Go to Valentine Detectives Agency. Yeah. Okay. So that's the only lead we have right now on where our son went. So we're gonna go talk to the detective. Detective Valentine's. Aid, something like that. Oh, it's a girl? I thought it was a guy. His touch. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get Damn. it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. That was the guy we saw in the trailer, I'm pretty sure. Or how she described him, anyway. Alright, so now we are going to go save the mayor. <laughs> because I guess the mayor... Someone kidnapped him. Because everyone's... Move, what have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay. Show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Damn. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. That's his brother. That's fucked. Um. I didn't take a shit, I swear. <laughs> so bad. Alright, I want to see if uh, I can barter with this guy and see if... Because the, it says on the guide, the guide that I got, that the Diamond City Surplus sells two fusion cores. Hey, Murray. But I tried, and they're not here. See, there's no fusion core. They have fusion cells. There's no fusion core, though. And that's pissing me off because I need one. But we're running low on fucking fuel here in this... We might just leave this here when we go do the mission. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna fucking steal it, so... We'll just leave it here, I guess, for now. Go do this quest without a power suit. Come on, Roscoe. All right. Fucking love my Russian hat. All right. Time to go save the... the what is he? The detective, right? All right. Hmm. This is downtown Boston now. It's crazy how far we've traveled. Finding... Is he in one of these big-ass buildings? There's just a fucking arm sitting there. Roscoe! I found an arm. Here. Good job. Okay. This is the place, I think, right? Oh, icky. I don't like it. Swan's Pond. Oh, I hope he's... Is he bad? I don't think he's bad. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. They start up the... Um, we could take a tour with him, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. Ooh, is that Quantum? Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka Cherry, that's new. I think we just grabbed an empty Nuka Cola bottle, but whatever. Um, how do we get in here? There we go. Okay, let's go save the detective. Okay. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. Caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Are they bad? Oh, shoot. Well. Oh, that was dope. 
Oh my god, the headshots from this game are so dope. <laughs> Just decapitated these guys. A fedora? Ooh, I feel like that might look cool on me. I don't know. What do you think, Roscoe? That was a trap. There's some massive diarrhea. Plastic pumpkin? What the hell? Let's go trick-or-treating, boy. Fuck. Gonna find any more of these bastards down here? Hell yeah, we are. That's so dope. Oh shit, we got more of these assholes, god damn it. I'm wearing your buddy's hat! <laughs> this is my hat now. Take your fucking hats too. Never mind, your hats are stupid, I don't even want them. But I'm gonna kill you anyway. Okay, yeah, they're hiding out in a vault, that's right. Vault 114. Alright, vault controls. Oh, can only a pit boy open these? That's pretty cool. That's how only the vault dwellers can get in, is you need a pit boy to open it. Where's my shotgun? I want a shotgun. I think it's the short hunting rifle is what the shotgun is. Yeah, this looks like the shotgun. Yeah, that's definitely the shotgun. <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. What? My name's Death! Hear me roar! Oh shit. Get him, Roscoe. Hey! You, you kick Roscoe! Motherfucker! I'm liking the fucking man bun, though. Alright, now we just gotta find... The one guy. The detective. Monsieur? Monsieur How detective. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling oh. hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy, cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Shit. Hey, you! I don't know who you are. Overseer door password, okay. Override door controls. Okay. <gasps> bobblehead! Nope, fuck you. I want- what is it? It's the speech bobblehead. Nice. All vendors permanently have 100 more caps for bartering. Ooh, let your words be your weapon. Take. Ah, uh, my knight in shining armor. The question is, why did he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. He's a synth? Whoa. What? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Hey, Valentine. You help me get out of here, and then I'll help you. So I guess this vault never even started. It was still under construction when the bombs fell, so there were no vault dwellers here. It was just an empty vault, and that's why these guys, these mobsters, or whoever they are, they... What did they call them? The fucking... I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? His only job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino! Hard 
tired and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. There we are. I guess since he's a synth, not all synths are bad, but most of them are, and that's why people hate them. Kind of like ghouls. You got your normal ghouls, and then you got your feral ghouls. I guess they're kind of like that. <gasps> there is sign! That's not- <laughs> that's not a wet floor sign. <gasps> Roscoe! Roscoe almost tried to. Fuck you, sign. What can- I'm not leaving until this thing is knocked over, I'm sorry. There we go. Fucking sign. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Oh, why? Is he fat? He's probably fat. Skinny Malone is fat, I'm guessing. That's why it's ironic. Alrighty. We're gonna fuck up Skinny Malone. This is like a mob group of some sort. Nicky, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home. Hey, she's wearing my dress. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. Don't you try to confuse me! Get him, Skinny! Okay, you're fucking- I'm killing you first then, bitch. Jesus Christ. I'm taking his- I'm definitely taking Skinny Malone's fucking gear, that looks cool. Jesus Christ, he's got a lot of- Oh, I'm about to die. And Roscoe is fucking him up, Jesus. Alrighty. I am taking her dress because that is mine. Ooh, hello. Should we take this with us? I want his tuxedo, and I want his formal hat. Jesus Christ, he is a big boy. Look at this. Alright, we're getting the fuck out of here. Alright, we are getting the fuck out of damn subway stations. What are you? Just, what are you, Nick? You really don't know? I'm a synth. Synthetic man. All the parts, minus a few red blood cells. I got built, I got old, I got tossed. Then I opened up that little agency in Diamond City and turns out people have plenty of problems to solve. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. All right, now we can fast travel there, I'm pretty sure. Diamond City, fast travel. Okay, now we're in Diamond City. We're just gonna go talk to him now. All right. Monsieur Valentine. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pay me. I don't want to be an asshole. You're welcome. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount Thank wasn't you. on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. 
Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. All right. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. So that's why he's good. You're, You're a, pro a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. Hmm. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Bald and scarred. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I don't remember, no. No. They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. So it's been 10 years. That's nuts. No way. So he's 10? You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Huh. Well, guys, unfortunately, <laughs> I hate to do this because we've got we just got pretty juicy into the story here. But uh, that is going to have to be where I leave this episode off. And I, I am sorry, but at least I'm doing these videos daily. Next video will be up tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoyed part four of the Fallout 4 series so far. Uh, I'm getting really into the story. I love this story so far. Um, we're going to go investigate that guy's house. And I guess the our son, it's been 10 years. Our son probably doesn't even know what happened at this point which is insane if that's the same kid 
Um, but I knew some time passed. I knew that like our son was going to be a bit older, but I didn't think it was going to be that long. So he's 10 years old now, if that's the same kid, which is crazy. But uh, that's going to have to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment and a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the series. But until then, guys, this has been Max. Peace.